Hello everyone and welcome to our weekly how-to video. My name is Lori McNorton, Floral Design Coordinator for Florist Review and Super Floral. And today I want to share with you a little technique on how to make um, a floral cuff out of decorative wire. So a lot of us use this decorative wire and then um, we're busy and it turns out to be kind of like a blob like this and you throw it to the side. Well, we've got to use that. So um, that's one of the techniques I'm going to show is just kind of how to use some um, leftover wire that's kind of got tossed to the side. And then we also have some other decorative wire and um, that's a little bit more neater and um, easier to use. So the design I'm going to do is with the etched wire but I just kind of wanted to show you a couple techniques. So um, I wanted a wooden dowel or something round so I found a glass tube. Well, it'll work. So this is going to be our first one. So all I'm going to do is take this wire and wrap it around here. This is going to be a little bit more um, styled cuff, not so wild and out there. So I just have this tube of wire now. And what I'm going to do is just make an end here. on both sides. And then I'm going to take this, I'm going to flatten it out, and this will be one. And then I'm just going to connect, that's, that's what those are for. It's just as a latch. So once we make the design, there you have it. That's just one. And then we'll glue to the cuff. But I just wanted to kind of show a couple different ideas for cuffs. And you know, the decorative wire comes in all colors. So it's just an inexpensive, easy way. And it fits your brides or your little prom girl or whatever. You can fit their wrists because they're all different sizes. So this one again. I'm just going to make my end because I want something to clasp onto. Again, I'm just going to make just something so they attached. So we have all this and I'm just going to scrunch it up, do some twisting. Again, this is one of those things where there's no right or wrong way. Come around. All right. Maybe come through just to hold that a little bit. And there's more of our free form cuff. So there's just a couple different ways couple different techniques there with the wire. All right, so I'm going to use the floral adhesive. This is from Smithers Oasis. And then we also have dashes, which I love these. These, I wouldn't be able to design without these. So um, I'm not going to use a lot of fresh flowers. I've got some um, eucalyptus here. I've got some thistles, some mums. Keep it very simple. Um, I did add a little bit of platinum paint to some seeded eucalyptus because we're kind of going with silver, blues, and whites. I've got some brunia berry. I'm just going to pop those off and use some of those. All right, so I'm going to pluck a couple pieces of the eucalyptus here, the silver dollar eucalyptus. And I'm just going to put a dot on each one. And what I'm going to do whoa, is come up with one, and then I'm going to glue the second one.
We don't need a lot. And then I'm also going to kind of go in between here. And I think sometimes, the reason why I'm doing this, it's not only for looks, but sometimes you don't want the wire to be so ab abrasive against the skin. So the, the foliage is softer and it kind of breaks that. Some people are sensitive to that. And it also gives us another surface to glue flowers on. And I'm just kind of working that in with the wire. I don't want to cover up the wire. So there's that. And I'm going to press that down. There we go. I'm going to take a couple pieces, a couple blossoms of the white mums. First, let's add some of the seeded eucalyptus seeded eucalyptus that's been sprayed. And again, I was going to show you, you can use the dashes as well. Both work really well. So well <laughs> that it pulled apart. They're very sticky. That's why I'm saying they will not come apart. <laughs> but I wanted to show you both techniques on the adhesive. The, the floral adhesive, it does take just a tad bit longer to dry. And it just gets goopy. Sometimes if I'm doing like more than one, I'll have a little dish and I'll put like a little blob so that it kind of gets gooey and sticky. So I'm just going to work my flower down in there. Uh, let's see, I have some thistle that I want to work in. That's going to bring my blue. This is going to kind of have almost a wintry feel to it, wintry look. And I do know the real name of the thistle. I just have a really hard time saying it. So I just continue to call it thistle. Um, Uringium. I believe that's the right way. But it just doesn't flow off my tongue very easily. Let's add one more little here. I want to get some little of these berries. I love the brunia berries. It's the texture, it's the color. Now this would take a little longer to dry. I mean this you wouldn't be able to, by the time I put it right on there. But you know what I can do, just so I can show you how well these work. And all I'm doing is putting that dash on there. And there we have it. Now, normally I would let this set for just a little bit, just so it all dries. Doesn't take long. Then I would spray it with a fin finishing spray, and then, now, like I said, I would let this dry, but what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead, and I'm gonna curve this around. How lovely is that? Something different for your girls that wanna do, um, that don't wanna go in with just your elastic strap, say, to a to formal or to a winter dance. I know that there are some girls out there that love different kinds of things, and this truly is something a little different. And again, you could do the same 
on any other kinds of wires. So come up with your own ideas. There's no right or wrong way to do this. So there we have that. Be sure to join us next week and be sure to also subscribe to your Florist Review magazine um, for the best designs and the most up-to-date kind of uh, designs in the industry. Thank you and we'll see you next week.